Of course, it's just finished at St James's Park. Newcastle nil, Arsenal two, and a big, big win for Arsenal. It's a big win as they keep the pressure on Manchester City in the Premier League title race. But yeah, um, Newcastle is their second home defeat of the season. A frustrating one for them. I think, I think, I think the final third really let them down. In my opinion, you know their passes weren't good. They just everything just went wrong for them in the final third. Defensively, I think both teams were a bit sloppy. But of course, you know, Arsenal took the lead. Well, to be fair, but actually, Newcastle started really, really well. Um, Newcastle started really, really well, in my opinion. Um, you know, they had, a, they had some really good chances. But then um, Arsenal, well, Arsenal were a bit panicky. But then, of course, they got the goal. From Odegaard, it was a good goal. To be fair, good. It's a good goal. Um, hit it with his lace. Powerful shot. Nothing really that. Uh, Martin, sorry, not not Martin Odegaard. That um, Pope could really do about it. And then, uh, but yeah, like a. Sorry, that was my dog there. Um, but yeah. Anyway, but like I said, I think the final third really let Newcastle down. I think a, probably a stupid mistake, in my opinion, to put Isak out wide and Wilson in the middle. I think I would have put Wilson out wide and Isak in the middle. I think Isak's better being in the middle of the front three than out on, out on the wing. Because, you know, Isak scored more goals than Wilson, I think, this season. So I think it's better to put him in the middle than Callum Wilson. Out wide, and I've lost the dog. Where's the dog? Where's the dog? Bobby? Oh, there you are. <laughs> so, yep. Poppy, please give your match reaction to the camera. It was very good, and Arsenal just cheating again. But yeah, anyway, um, like I said, the final third really let Newcastle down, in my opinion. Yeah, the final third really, really, really let Newcastle down. They kept losing the ball. Every time they tried to play a through ball, Arsenal won it. For me, for me, I thought Gimmaraj and Trippier were really poor today. I expected better from them. Considering how good they are normally in other games, like, you know, games against, like, you know, Spurs, Man United, um, Brighton, no, not Brighton, um, I don't know, Liverpool, Brentford, Villa, well, not Villa, well, pff, I don't know. Teams, are the, the games they played well against, like, for example, Spurs, Tripp and Gimmaraj played well against us, but today they were really poor. They were really, really poor today, especially Gimmaraj. Gimmaraj's first touch was appalling. Literally, let me get this foot. Ow! I'm put this pen down. So I got a football. If I just put the phone on the shed, it stays up. Brilliant. Literally, Gimmaraj's first. Okay. Literally, Gimmaraj's first touch was like that, and then. And Trippier, man. Trippier. Three kids could get past the first man, and nor could the free kid, but Gimmaroy's. First touch. It's so. <laughs> Gimmaroy's first touch was absolutely appalling. It just wasn't good enough. But I, can't, I really, I can't, I, I, I like, I, the game was good. The game was good, it was very feisty. I think, I, I think you know what, fair play to Chris Kavanagh, the referee, he had a very good game. He had a very good game. He ref the game well, judged it well, and had a very good game. But you know, but like I said, Newcastle in the final verbal poor, 
And I think Trippier and Gamer Rice were poor. If I have to be honest, I think both teams defensively were poor as well. But if I had to give, if I had to give a man of the match, Oh, I have to give a man of the match. Who would I give man of the match to? Um, who would I give man of the match to? That's a really good question. Oh, I let that plane just land above me. I didn't find it. And um, whatever that's called. I have no idea. Oh, there it is. Plane, who's man of the match? Yeah. For me, um, for me, there were, there were a few good performances. I think Saka did all right. Martinelli did all right. Arsenal and midfield were good. Well, Sky Sports gave their man of the match. I don't think I generally don't think Jorginho did a lot, in my opinion. I didn't really see him do a lot. I'll probably give it. I'll give it to Martinelli. He did well. So, yeah. I'm going to end the video here. I might do a reaction to West Ham. Maybe. Maybe. Be out of the way. Bye.